Extreme Collectibles here kicking it off. And first thing I want to do is uh, I want to say thank you. I'm not really good with compliments to people or, uh, you know, showing appreciation simply because I don't enjoy that kind of thing. It's a big weakness of mine as a leader. And uh, I constantly let people know that. But I want to say thank you. And the reason why I'm saying thank you is this is a review on a piece that's 10 plus years old and you're watching it. So I really appreciate the support, uh, you guys that watch me review older pieces. It's new to me. I just opened it up an hour ago. But uh, there's when I was Googling some stuff on this guy, there was about 500 links when you uh, Google Galactus Legendary uh, Bust. So really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, fooled you, didn't I? Uh, let's dive into it. Extreme Collectibles here with a new piece to the Extreme Collection. This is Sideshow's Legendary Scale Bust of Galactus. So let's cover a few things here for first. So there's probably not many new people watching this review because this piece has been out for quite a long time. They call this Legendary Scale. I don't know what Legendary Scale means. A lot of people assume it means half scale because some of their other Legendary Scale busts are half scale. They're half of what they would be in real life but Galactus's head would be as big as this room. So that doesn't make sense either. So I'm guessing that Sideshow says legendary, like maquette, meaning whatever the hell they wanna call it. This is Galactus. If you're unfamiliar with Galactus, then you haven't read a Fantastic Four Silver Surfer comic or watched any of those horrid movies. The movies that were in the first two, they're meh. Let's not go there. I really hope they redo the Fantastic Four in the MCU. I know there's a lot to talk about it. But I love Silver Surfer, you guys know that. He's arguably my favorite uh, uh, comic book character. So I knew Galactus very well growing up because Silver Surfer was his herald. Galactus is the devourer of planets. He's one of the most powerful beings in the universe, not the most powerful, and uh, just a cool ass guy. I actually already own two Galactus statues. Here's a pretty shitty picture of them. I have the original Sideshow Galactus maquette, with my favorite piece, the Silver Surfer, and then I have a Galactus on throne with my entire throne collection. So why did I buy a third one? Well, I, the way I feel is Gala Silver Surfer and Galactus go together. I have two to three more Silver Surfers coming in and one that I thought would be perfect for this one. So it arrives this month, and let me preface something. I don't know, older pieces I don't air right away. So I'm, I'm filming this on August 3rd. God knows when it's gonna air. Could be October, could be September. So the Silver Surfer piece I'm about to show you, I may have already reviewed, but it's right here. So really excited. I think these two will go well together because it's Galactus's hand. I know the scale's a little bit off because that's a quarter scale hand and this is a legendary scale bust. Uh, and when I have both of them together in the Silver Surfer review, I'll put them next to each other so you can see what it's like. However, I feel this is the perfect size of Galactus. Um, he does change sizes, but uh, Silver Surfer, I assume, is going to be about this big, so about as big as his head. So, however, one of the neat things, I'm not going to go into big detail about it, is this piece does come with a Silver Surfer. Here's a picture of them together, and I just don't like it. I don't like the size. Again, I think it's too small. And even though Galaxis changes and the Silver Surfer, here's up close. It really sucks actually. It's not very good at all. And speaking of size, he is uh, 22 inches tall-ish and 14 wide and maybe eight deep. So it won't take up too much room, which is rare. This is the only, I think it's the only non-life-size bust I have. So it will go with the quarter scale collection. I'm putting him in a entire Fantastic Four dis uh, display. So I have a custom Mr. Fantastic on order. I have a uh, custom uh, thing, which I've reviewed, I've just haven't posted it yet. So it may or may not happen before this. 
And then I have a, another Dr. Doom on Throne coming, as well as the one I currently own. So they'll all go together. Then I gotta find a Human Torch. And then Invisible Woman, if I don't have an awesome one, I'm just gonna say she's there. I think that's kind of clever. I have my moments. So original cost on this guy was cheap as shit. I think it was like 250, 300 bucks, and it's rare to find them below $600 nowadays. That's how much I, I paid with eBay bucks and shipping, 600 bucks, which is pretty tough to shell out. The reason he's so expensive, A, he's a really cool piece, and B, there's not many of them. So they only made 400 pieces total. 250 were the collector's edition that I have right here. And then 150 of them were the exclusive. Exclusive came with a Galactus nameplate. Since I don't like displaying nameplates, it didn't make sense to me anyway to try and uh, solve or find that. Assembly was really easy. Uh, the Silver Surfer was two pieces, but I, that's already back in the box. And I always call these his fins. Every single Galactus I have, his fins come off. So these just go right in via long uh, peg. So really easy assembly, and he's very, very heavy, extremely heavy for how small he is. So I think he's completely polystone. But so let's talk about the concept and design. You know, we kind of talked about Galactus a little bit, uh, a couple things going on here with the concept and the design. So first of all, uh, just uh, close ups here. He's a badass. He's really pissed. He's really mean. And Galactus, there's both hu uh, humanistic and cybernetic uh, elements to him. So you can see both of those, but he's just really pissed, uh, evil, evil glare. And they've, they've chosen, you know, the top half of him. One thing I do like is, unlike some of the recent busts that I reviewed, if you're looking straight at the front, you can only see Galactus. You can't see this uh, black part on the back. Here's a close-up of it. So I do like with the design that they made it look like a full figure. Excuse me. Um, realistically, otherwise, there's not really a, a lot going on to the concept and design. It's pretty simplistic. There's no light-ups or anything, which is uh, interesting to me. And uh, I already talked about Silver Surfer he came with. One of the things we'll talk about on paint, and I don't know if this is because this is such an older piece and God knows how many people owned it before I did, which means there could be all, I should use a black light on this, don't you think? See what's going on? But uh, uh, the paint's really, we'll get, I guess we'll, we'll talk about it. Let's talk about it right now, actually. So uh, starting, you know, at the bottom, we're gonna go bottom to top, and it's gonna be kind of interesting because it's just a bust, so there's not really a lot of different details. Like, we're not gonna talk about anatomy at all. We're not gonna talk about, uh, you know, pose, really, because it's just a bust. It's, it's just a few different splotches of paint and then some different sculpt in there, but it really looks good. So, so starting at the front here, so he has kind of the emblem that he has on his chest, and the funny thing, this varies from statue to statue and comic to comic, what it actually looks like. But on there is a different purple color than anywhere else on the statue. And right below it is some of the circuitry and wiring, almost looking like a respirator. And then it's this metallic purple right behind it. Kind of interesting. And then his armor is an even different color of purple altogether, and there's different shades of purple within that and some black streaked in, and then a, a more of a reddish purple that that is on top of, and you see kind of that reddish purple all over. So taking a really quick time out here, what I really like is just on this part alone, there's five or six different types of purple to really give it some cool contrast, and uh, I like purple. Hey, the chicks dig guys wearing purple shirts. I'm just letting you know, it's a fact, do it. Uh, then also he has some blues, his collar right here, kind of this bluish hinge to it. And here's where, where you can see what I was talking about earlier. It's really, really dirty. Not dusty dirty, but I don't know if the paint is meant like that or if I should try and wash it off. I'll have to look at some other reviews. And throughout all that you can see some circuitry and some other futuristic techno type stuff. And then looking at his neck, this almost looks like he has clothing on. Uh, but again, there's kind of this circuitry and dots and holes and neck veins throughout it. Really, really cool looking. And another different color altogether. Then I'm going to jump to his back really quick. Uh, again, really high tech, really futuristic. They used uh, some, almost, you know, some circuits and vents 
and mechanical stuff that's in there. And most of his, the middle of his head is this solid purple color with the vents being a different color. Uh, the items coming out where his ears are a different purple color, a lot more shiny metallic. And then his fins, kind of this faded purple color again with a lot of that weathering inside of it. Really cool looking at it from behind as long as you ignore the bottom. Then moving up to Galactus, so he has you know a football helmet uh, chin strap on the bottom with uh, some vents, almost like it's a respirator. Some weird crap all over it, but it looks good. And I, I love the, uh, the flesh tones they used on him. They're not really human, so there's no pinks in there really. Uh, I do enjoy that. It's more that uh, uh, peach type color. And then his teeth, good sculpt on his teeth. His lips, there's no pink and red in, as I said, but really good job on that skin part. Good sculpt on his nose, and then moving up to his eyes, he has kind of those square, uh, yellow squares that almost make it look menacing, and he's staring into the soul of whoever. And you can see the uh, uh, frown line, or not the frown lines, but his, his eyebrows, uh, where his eyebrows would be kind of coming down so you can tell it's a menacing glare. Really, really neat. And then moving up, even more different types of circuitry on the top. And if you look at any, any of these individually, they look kind of stupid, but it looks really great on Galactus. Kind of that solid color, again, moving all the way up to the top other than this light blue where his, his upper forehead is. And then on top, it almost looks like a gun. And I, I have to double check my other Galactuses. I don't know if this is evident on all of them and a different purple color altogether. I think this is a badass piece. I understand why it goes for so much. I've wanted it for a while. Very happy I have him. As long as I have Silver Surfers, uh, I'm going to keep Galactuses nearby. So really cool piece. Let me know if you've seen this piece in person, what your thoughts are, are on it. But more importantly, I think uh, for probably the few people watching, let's start a discussion on what is a 10 plus year old piece that you think is awesome. So let me know that. With that, uh, thanks for watching. If you are a first time watcher, please hit that subscribe and bell. It makes me feel better. And until then, take care.